This video tutorial demonstrates how to use the Open Facts Explorer to obtain integrated information about physicochemical properties, biological activities, and the ADMET profile of a selected compound. In the navigation tree on the left hand side, expand the compound folder and then select the compound by name option. Double click to open the tab. Enter the name of the compound in the text entry box, for example aspirin. As you type, the system matches the entered text with content and suggests a list of auto-completed compound names in the drop-down menu with a definition hyperlink. Clicking on the definition link opens a new window in the concept wiki where you can see all the synonyms for aspirin and the contributing authority for each term. The preferred term for each authority is highlighted in bold. We now return to the Explorer window where we will hit search. When the query has been processed, the results are displayed as a one-page compound report card. On the top right corner, you have the option to turn provenance on to see where the data came from. Provenance is depicted via icons that appear next to the data. For example, the molecular formula comes from Kemble, the smiles from ChemSpider and the melting point from DrugBank. Clicking on these icons links out to the appropriate page on the original source. For example, clicking on the Kemble icon takes you to the Kemble page for aspirin. So, we go back to the Explorer page to see what other information is available. First, we have known physicochemical information like molecular formula, smile string, inchy key and melting point. Then we have calculated properties like A log P, the number of H-bond donors and acceptors, PSA, etc. Then we have biological properties, a description of the drug, composition and metabolism. And finally we have protein binding and toxicity information. The pharmacology data for aspirin can be obtained by clicking on the pharmacology data button. This opens a new tab in the Explorer where available pharmacology data for aspirin are presented as a table. For further guidance on this view, please see the pharmacology by compound tutorial. We now return to the compound summary page and click on the ChemSpider button. This owns a ChemSpider widget within the Explorer. Here you can get further compound related information about aspirin from other databases integrated within ChemSpider. And in this data sources box you can browse the data sources which have information on that compound and, where available, links will take you through to the relevant page on the data source. Here's one example. So we'll close the widget to return to the Explorer and that concludes this tutorial.